Hi everyone, what I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to be grinding Charlie's nails down. Now I'm using um, a Dremel, which is quite powerful. Um, you can buy them from uh, Screwfix or b &Q. They're about £40, but I would say when you're starting the first time, I'd use the proper doggy ones, so they're a lot quieter and they don't upset your dog. Uh, Charlie, he's now two-year-old. He's used to his nails being ground. Um, and he just lets me get on with it. So, yeah, what I use is these sticky mat, and I put peanut butter in it, and I put them in the freezer, and then they're ready to be licked away. Make sure when you're buying your peanut butter, use one that doesn't have palm oil in. Palm oil is a bit toxic for doggies. Um, yeah, so what I do, I, as you can see, there's Charlie. Hello, good boy. Um, so he's used to being um, groomed in this corner and his nails being done. So when I put the mat down, he knows what's going to happen. He knows he's going to get a, a treat. So I stick it on the side of the unit. It's a bit messy. Um, yeah. So he's now licking the peanut butter off the mat. So it makes it a lot easier for me to grind his nails. I'm going to see if I can put the camera you'll be able to see me grinding. Grinding. Um, there we go. So as he's picking away, I tend to do most of my grooming and um, nails and everything whilst the dogs are licking the peanut butter. It's a lot easier. So um, what we do when we're grinding. So this is a Dremel. It's quite loud. So yeah, I wouldn't start with this one. I'd start with a doggy purpose one and what you need on it you need to have the stone on the end don't use sandpaper because that tends to um, get the fern um, and tangle it all up and it can hurt your dog so I would use the stone grinder so yeah so make sure your eyes underneath your dog um, he's used to this but if you're going to start with a puppy or whatever just do just get him used to uh, touching the pad and lifting it up and having the machine turned on while you're doing it and do it gradually don't do all nails at once just do one nail one day the next day do another nail get them used to it and do it every week and then when they get to about two or three year old yep they're used to it so much that he'll just let me get on with it so yeah let's start i'm gonna do his right paw first so just say good boy aren't you charlie he doesn't care there we go lift the paw up to basically start grinding And he'll let me know if he gets a little bit sensitive, he'll pull his foot out of the way and put it on the floor. But I just generally do all of them quite quickly. And I tend to do this once a fortnight. Good boy. tend to spend too much time on one uh, foot. Um, I'll do it for a couple of minutes, then I'll go to the other foot as well. So I do go, it can get a bit awkward. Um, tend to be stuck under. I mean, if you want to get your dog used to going on the table to be groomed and things like that, you can do, but I've never used one. Good boy. Now he lets me groom him as well when, um, when he's 
quite occupied with that. Um, I tend to use one of these stripping blocks and it takes off quite a lot of um, the dead claws on the top, which is what you need to be taken off as well. So I tend to use this and he's quite happy with me, isn't it? All over his body. You're a good boy, aren't you? Now I've got all my dogs used to me doing this and I do it from as soon as if I've read my own puppies, I get them used to it straight away. Within, within seven weeks, I start doing it. Um, and I do it once a week. And even if they don't need a groom, I still do it. Just go through the motions with them. So they're getting used to being groomed and the nails and the, the um, legs and everything being touched. So it makes life a, a lot easier. So yeah, let's go a bit closer so you can see his nails. And that's how you hold them up to grind them. Um, still need a little bit more doing, so I'll do that later. Um, yeah, but by doing this, it helps keep the feet nice and tight and um, less injuries, uh, nail injuries and um, knuckle injuries when out running your dogs. So try and keep them as short as possible. Yeah, anyway, that was my tip. Say goodbye, Charlie. Bye-bye.